Hey and welcome to Text Connect. Today's video is about polymers in textiles and their properties. As we all know, textile fibers are composed of polymers with many different structures, resulting in a diverse range of chemical, physical and biological properties. So we will be learning textile fibers and their polymer properties which fall under these five categories. Number one, conventional fibers. Number two, high strength and high modulus organic fibers. Number three, high chemical and combustion resistant organic fibers. Number four is high performance in organic fibers. And the fifth is ultra fine and novelty fibers. Before we move ahead, we should all know what is the high performance polymer. So the polymers that have moderately high strength, high extension, a high work of rupture, and a good recovery property can be termed as high performance polymers. Now only those polymers which possess these properties are used in high end industrial applications. Also, there are a few important terms like tenacity, modulus and elongation percent. Now what is tenacity? In simple terms, it is the force that a fiber can withstand before finally breaking. It is measured in grams per denier or newton per tex. Now what is tex? It is the count of fiber that is weight of fiber per thousand meters. If a fiber has a tenacity of 0.5 newton per tex, that means it can withstand a load of 0.5 newton per thousand meters of its length. Similarly, elongation is the percentage change in the original length of the fiber after the force is applied. And modulus is the measure of amount of deformation caused by stress. That means materials with high modulus are stiff and hard and they deform or deflect very little under stress. So we'll finally start with properties under the first category that is conventional fibers, which are natural like cotton, wool, silk and jute, regenerated like viscose, acetates, tensile, or synthetics like polyamides, polyesters, polyacrylic, polyurethane, polyolefins, etc. Now these have a tenacity range of 0.1 to 0.5 Newton per tex. Now these fibers are for usual applications like apparel, clothing, hence the tenacity and the modulus is low, but higher elongation helps in comfort. The modulus is 2 to 18 and elongation percentage is 2 to 7. Next up is high strength and high modulus organic fibers. Now these fibers are structured for specific industry applications. The examples are paraaramids like Kevlar and Toron, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene like Dyneema, Spectra. Now as these are used for high heavy industrial applications, they have a higher tenacity and modulus. The tenacity is 1.5 to 3 Newton per tex. The modulus has a good range of 25 to 150 Newton per tex and the elongation is 1 to 8%. Moving forward, it is the high chemical and combustion resistant fibers. Now these fibers are for specific chemical and fire resistant applications. Hence, we would also measure a property called LOI that is limiting oxygen index, which is the minimum fraction of oxygen in nitrogen necessary to sustain burning. The higher the LOI, the more oxygen it would require to start burning. The fibers are meta, meta aramids, Nomex, Conex, oxidized acrylic, aromatic polymers, polyethylene, polyether ketone. The tenacity ranges from 1 to 2 Newton per tex, modulus from 15 to 25, elongation to 1 to 4, and the limiting oxygen index is 0.23 or 0.55. Now, are you guys aware of the difference between organic and inorganic fibers? Organic man-made fiber is generally synthesized from natural resources and contains carbon atoms as the key element in their polymer chain. Inorganic man-made fibers are made from non-carbon based synthetic materials like glass and ceramic. Now, why did I tell you this? Because next up is high performance inorganic fibers like carbon, ceramics, boron, tungsten, alumina, high modulus silicon, carbide and silicon nitride. 
they have a comparably higher tenacity than conventional fibers which ranges from 0.5 to 2 newton per tex they also have a high modulus which indicates that they are stiffer and deform less when subjected to stress let's discuss the fifth and the last category that is ultra fine and novelty fibers now these contain microfibers which have a linear density of less than 0.5 decitex solar energy absorbing fibers like solar alpha antibacterial fibers hollow fibers anti static and fire resistant fibers now they have the lowest tenacity and modulus but higher elongation range and have a very specific application so this is it from my side hope you have now learned enough about some specific textile polymer properties we'll meet in the next video until then like share and subscribe to text connect a learning center for textiles